Dark Rock 4 is not just a name, but also a promise, as it delivers highest cooling performance, whisper quiet operation and first class looks. The newest members of this family, Dark Rock 4 and Dark Rock Pro 4, keep all these promises and go the extra mile. As usual with the Dark Rock series, only our best fans are being used. Silent wings featuring the long-lasting fluid dynamic bearings and a smooth six-pole motor. The Dark Rock 4 uses one of these wonders and the Dark Rock Pro 4 even two with the one in the front sporting our famous funnel-shaped air inlets. And its heat pipes, playing a very important role in the cooling performance, have been reworked and are of even bigger quality now than before. If you're familiar with the Dark Rock series, then you will immediately notice the new matte finish. That's not just to make our designers happy, the new coolers are covered in a special coat of paint that comprises mostly of ceramic particles. While developing the new cooler using this coating resulted in a noticeably improved heat transfer, which makes it highly useful and not just a treat for the eyes. So let's go into the details. The new cooler fins are embossed throughout in order to increase the cooling surface. At the same time, they are wave contoured, which again is not just for the looks. We have tried a number of shapes and layouts until we have finally developed this form that uses air swirlings for additional cooling while minimizing noise emission. One additional detail with the Dark Rock Pro 4, a small gap in the cooling fins offers more room for the RAM bar. Finally, some will say, yes, we have heard you, both Dark Rock 4 and Dark Rock Pro 4 are now very easy to install from the upper side of the motherboard. And the Dark Rock Pro 4 features two classy heat pipe caps for that, which you will have to unscrew in order to install the cooler with a custom-made Be Quiet screwdriver included in the package. Speaking of things that are included, an extra pair of steel brackets give you the chance to install an additional fan in case you want to take the cooling performance to the extreme. It's 22.1 degrees o'clock, perfect for a performance test. We use the TimeSpy CPU low test with an i7-7820X CPU without any extravagancies, which results in maximum CPU temperatures of about 60 degrees Celsius for the Dark Rock 4. The Dark Rock Pro 4 goes even deeper, resulting in about 57 degrees Celsius maximum temperature under the same conditions, proving its superiority. Needless to say, that both coolers remained amazingly quiet the whole time. Aside from the simplified installation process, we have also improved the silence and cooling performances. The Dark Rock 4 has a noticeably higher cooling performance than its predecessor and the Dark Rock Pro 4 has always excelled in this field so that we focused on lowering the noise output for the new model. Which, of course, we managed to achieve. To sum up, the Dark Rock series remains the undisputed air cooler champion, even more so with its new generation, regardless whether you prefer a single or a double tower design. I hope you will tune in in the next video and stay quiet.
Corsair IQ Elite Capellix Liquid CPU Coolers deliver powerful, low-noise cooling for your CPU, with radiators up to 360 millimeters, and of course, 33 ultra-bright Capellix LEDs on the pump head put the spotlight on your cooling. In the box, you'll find the Elite Capellix Cooler, MLRGB fans, the Commander Core fan and lighting controller, an alternate pump cap, and of course, your mounting hardware. Each Elite Capellix cooler includes all the brackets, standoffs, and mounting clips you need to install in systems with modern Intel and AMD desktop motherboards. As we get started with the installation, we'll first need to prep our motherboard socket. First, install the included Intel backplate if your motherboard requires it. Secure the Intel backplate using the provided Intel standoffs. Other sockets like LGA2066 and STRX4 only require the appropriate standoffs to be screwed into the existing mounting hardware on the socket. If you have a motherboard equipped with an AM4 socket, the existing cooling mounting hardware on those motherboards will be required to mount the Elite Capellix pump head. Elite Capellix coolers feature a swappable pump cap. To remove the pre-installed cap, use the provided removal tool to remove the screws holding the cap in place. Remove the cap, hold a new cap in place, and secure using the screws removed previously. The Intel mounting bracket is pre-installed for modern Intel desktop motherboard sockets. If your motherboard is equipped with a different CPU socket, such as AM4 or STRX4, you'll need to swap out the mounting bracket. Simply remove the pre-installed bracket by pulling apart both halves from the pump head and snap in the new bracket. Make sure to double check the orientation of the bracket in accordance with your motherboard socket. If your motherboard has an AM4 socket, ensure that the mounting bracket is installed as shown. Thread the screw clips through the holes on the bracket and loosely secure them in place with the few rotations of a thumb screw. Use the provided radiator screws and long fan screws to mount the fans and radiator assembly in your system. Don't forget to use washers for any screws on the outside of your case. Elite Capellix coolers come with thermal paste pre-applied at the factory. If you move your Elite Capellix cooler to another system, or you wish to use your own thermal paste, make sure to thoroughly clean both the cold plate on the pump head and the IHS of your processor with isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free cloth. To install the pump head to your CPU socket, align the brackets around the pump head with any standoffs or cooler mounting clips around your motherboard socket. Tighten the thumb screws until secure. We recommend tightening screws a few turns each and moving to another thumb screw. Go in a crisscross pattern if your motherboard bracket uses more than two thumb screws. Connect the pump tack cable to the CPU fan header on your motherboard and route the 24 pin pump connector cable to the back of your case. Take this opportunity to also route your Elite Capellix Coolers fan cables to the back of your system. Elite Capellix Coolers include a fan and LED controller called the Commander Core. Find a suitable place in your system for this controller and mount it in place using the provided double-sided tape. Connect your Elite Capellix Coolers 24-pin cable to the appropriate port on the Commander Core. Now, connect your fan PWM and LED cables to the Commander Core. You can have up to six fans total connected to the Commander Core's integrated 4-pin PWM and LED lighting ports. To wrap up installation, simply plug the Commander Core into an available USB 2.0 header on your motherboard and connect SATA power. Finally, start up your system and install or update to the latest version of Corsair IQ. Corsair IQ allows you to set your Elite Capellix Cooler's pump performance, apply preset or custom fan curves for fans connected to the Commander Core, tweak the order and orientation of your fans to match your build, customize the RGB lighting on the pump head and connected Corsair RGB fans, and set up notifications to do things like automatically change your system lighting or turn your PC off when a set temperature has been hit. And that's it, Corsair Elite Capellix High Performance RGB Liquid CPU Coolers put the spotlight on your cooling with brilliant performance and brilliant RGB lighting. For more information about the Elite Capellix Liquid Coolers or our other cooling solutions, check out Corsair.com. Thanks for watching.
If you like the video, please click on the like button, write a comment, and subscribe to my channel.